Graphite reacts with the oxidizing acid hot concentrated nitric acid to form malleic acid. Carbon as graphite brings forming gases carbon oxides. Diamond, when heated to 600 to 800 degrees Celsius, also brings forming gases carbon oxides. At sufficient amounts of O2, carbon forms CO2. This is called complete combustion. At insufficient amounts of O2, carbon forms CO. This is called incomplete combustion. Carbon reacts with calcium oxide at high temperatures, forming calcium carbide. Graphite reacts with fluorine in excess amounts at high temperatures, forming a mixture of CF4, C2F6, and C5F12. At room temperature, the reaction with fluorine results in a mixture called graphite fluoride. Carbon reacts with sodium amide at 500 to 600 degrees Celsius, forming sodium cyanide. Carbon reacts with sulfur at high temperatures in the absence of oxygen, forming carbon disulfide. Carbon, either as graphite or diamond, does not react with water under normal conditions. At high temperatures, when water is blown through hot coke, carbon will react with water, forming a mixture of hydrogen, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and methane. Silicon does not react with most acids under normal conditions. It is dissolved by hydrofluoric acid, most likely due to its complex formation, as the driving force. Silicon is passivated by a thin layer of silicon oxide on the surface and does not otherwise react with air under normal conditions. If heated above 900 degrees Celsius, silicon reacts with the oxygen O2, forming silicon oxide. If heated above 1,400 degrees Celsius, silicon reacts with the nitrogen, forming the silicon nitrides. Silicon reacts with hot alkali solutions, forming silicate ions. Silicon reacts with halogens, forming the corresponding silicon halides. Silicon does not react with water, even as steam, under normal conditions. Germanium reacts with O2, forming germanium dioxide. At room temperature, the germanium surface is passivated by the germanium dioxide layer. When heated to red heat, germanium reacts with oxygen in the air, forming germanium dioxide. Under normal conditions, tin does not react with water. When heated, tin reacts with oxygen, forming tin dioxide. Tin reacts with Cl2, forming tin chloride. Stainum is precipitated by hydroxide ions as a white gelatinous precipitate. Their precipitate is dissolved in excess alkali. SN2 is oxidized by Hg2 2+. plus. Extraction is used for qualitative analysis for SN2. Under acid conditions and in the presence of chloride ions, Hg2 is reduced to Hg by SN2, forming Hg2Cl2. In excess SN4, Hg is reduced to Hg. SN4 is reduced by ferrum to SN2 in HCl. Manganese with oxidation steps will be reduced to MN2 by SN2 under acidic conditions under the formation of SN4. SN2 is easily oxidized to SN4 by hydrogen peroxide under acidic conditions. SN2 is precipitated by hydrogen sulfide in 0.4 mol HCl. In strong acid, the precipitate is dissolved. The precipitate is also dissolved in Na2S2 but not in Na2S. SN4 is precipitated by hydrogen sulfide in moderately acidic solutions. The precipitate is dissolved in alkali metal sulfides forming tungstenate ions and concentrated hydrochloric acid. Tin does not react with water under normal conditions. When exposed to steam, tin dioxide and hydrogen are formed. 
SN4 is precipitated as alpha thin acid upon hydrolysis of SN4 solutions. The precipitate is amphoteric and is dissolved in acids and strong alkali. Lead does not react with sulfuric acid due to the passivated PPO surface. Lead reacts slowly with hydrochloric acid and nitric acid. Lead reacts with air in the presence of moist and carbon dioxide, forming a passivating layer. The layer is most likely lead hydroxy carbonate. When heated in a stream of air, lead burns. Lead dissolves slowly in cold alkalis to form plumbites. Plumbum reacts with hydroxide forming lead oxide. The oxide is soluble in excess hydroxide, forming a lead hydroxide complex. Lead is precipitated by chromate under acidic conditions. Lead reacts vigorously with fluorine at room temperature and chlorine when heated, forming the corresponding lead halides. Lead is precipitated by chloride, bromide and iodide ions under cold neutral to acidic conditions. In concentrated hydrochloric acid, the chloride precipitate is dissolved. Solubility of the salts decreases with increasing periods. Lead 4 is a strong oxidizing agent. Lead is precipitated by sulfate under neutral to acidic conditions. The precipitate is partially soluble in concentrated sulfuric acid and dilute nitric acid and highly soluble in hot sodium hydroxide or acetate buffer. Lead 2 is precipitated by sulfide in 0.4 molar hydrochloric acid. During the process, red or brown intermediates can sometimes be observed. When heated, lead reacts with sulfur. Lead does not react with water in the absence of air. In the presence of air, lead 2 hydroxide is formed. Ferrovium is a radioactive metal. It is expected to be solid at room temperature. Ferrovium is only used for scientific reaction. Created using Powtoon.